Hello friends, welcome to Input Output Gamba. So today in this video, we'll discuss about other coding question, and this question is very very important for your upcoming on campus and off campus examination. Okay, so here is the question: possible number of decodings. So first we'll discuss the question, and then we'll write the code. Okay, so here you will be given an input like this: one, two, and three, and your output will be three. So how your output will be three? So here you can see this is the possible number of decodings. So if you are giving an input like this one, two, and three, so how many ways you can decode this? But you have to remember that here A represent one and B represent two and so on. Okay. And you know our alphabet is from 1 to 26. So our input, so here the input is given 1, 2, and 3. Okay. So we can write it as 1 and then space and then 2 and then space and then 3. Okay. So here 1 represents A and 2 represents B and 3 represents C. So this will be A, B and C. Okay. This is one way. And next what we can do, we can write this in another way like 1, 2 and then space and then 3. So 1, 2, so in alphabetical order 1, 2 that is 12. So 12 represents L and 3 represents C. So this is another way and we can also write it as 1 in separately and 2, 3 in separately. Okay. So 1, so you know 1 is for A and 23. So in alphabetical order 23 represents W. So this is the possible way we can decode this 1, 2 and 3. Okay. So our output will be 3. So now let's take an another example like 3, 2 and 1. Here we will see the output and here will be so let's remove this and write here 3, 2 and 1. Okay. So in how many ways we can write this 3, 2 and 1 but we have to remember that the characters are between 1 to 26. Okay. So we can write this as 3 separately and then 2 and this will be separated and then 1 so this is so 3 represents C and then 2 represents V and then 1 represents A okay this is one way we can decode this and the next way we can decode this is 3 and then space and then 2 1 so 3 represents C in alphabetical order and 21 represents U in alphabetical order. Okay, so this is one way to decode this and we'll check if there is any another way to represent this or to decode this. Okay, so here we can split this as 3, 2 and then 1. But wait, wait, we cannot write this as 3, 2. Because this is 32 and in our alphabetical order, there are 26 characters. So 1 to 26, but this is out of 26. So we cannot decode this. Okay. So this cannot be decoded. So our possible number of decodings for this 3 to 1 will be 2. So our output will be 2 here. Okay. So hope you understand this question. So now what will be our approach to solve this? So our first step will be to calculate the length of the input. So we will treat 3 to 1 as string and the length of this will be 3. So we first we will calculate the length. So calculate length. So calculate length of input. And our second step will write an array where we will store so let's say its size is n. Okay. So length is n. So next we'll write an array for counting the possible number of decodings and the length of the array will be length of the array will be n plus 1. Okay. Because we will store 
the count of variables from 0 to n. So 0 to not less than n will count from 0 to n. So for that we have right here n plus 1. So our next step will be we will initialize the first and the second position of this array as 0. Okay. So count of 0, count of 0 will be 1 and count of 1 will be 1. Okay, so these two position will be 1. So we will initialize this 0 position and 1 position as 1. So next we will write a for loop and we will iterate from 2 to n. Okay, from 2 to n. So next we will write a for loop and we will iterate from 2 to n. And, and for this position of 2 to n, the count value will be 0. That is for that is for position i, count of i will be 0. So this is the initial step. So now we will check the every digits of the string. So this is a string and now we will check every digits. So now we will check here if if the digit if the digit of i minus 1 is greater than 0 or not okay so digit of i minus 1 so you can see here this is the 0 position so 3 is in the 0 position and 2 is in the 1 position okay and this is the position 2 so this is the ith position so if this 1 is in the i position then this 2 will be in the i minus 1 position and this 3 will be in the i minus 2 position. So now we check here if digit of i minus 1 that is this middle position that is this 2 if this 2 is greater than 0 if so we will store we will store this count of i minus 1 so we will store this count of i minus 1 into count of i so our count of i minus 1 was 1 so here you can see so our i is 2 and i minus 1 that is 2 minus 1 that is 1 count of 1 so you can see here count of 1 is 1 and we will store it into the count of i that is count of 2 we will store this value, this one value into this count of 2. Okay. Now again we will check. Now again we will check here. If digits of i minus 2 is 1. That is, so i minus 2 means that is the first position. Okay. So if this is i position and this will be i minus 1 and this will be i minus 2. If digit of i minus 2 equals to 1 or digit of i minus 2 equals to 2. So if this position that is i minus 2 position that is the first position is 1 or 2 and there is another condition and digit of i minus 1. So i minus 1 less than 7. So why less than 7? So digit of i minus 1 is less than 7. So digit of i minus 1 is less than 7. So digit of i minus 1 means this position. Okay. If this is less than 7. So why we write here 7? Because there are 26 characters in alphabet. So 1 to 26. So 6 is the largest number. So if this position. So in this position i minus 1 position. So this is less than 7. So it could be 1 to 6 anything. But this must be less than 7. Okay. So if this is less than 7. Then we will add this count of i minus 2. So then we will add this count of i minus 2 to this count of i. So to this count of i. Okay, and then we will store it into this count of i. So in this way, we will count the number of possible decodings. Okay, and after go outside of this for loop, 
we will return this count so just simply return this count so hope you understand this and now let's write the code so first we'll write the basic format of the c plus plus and then write the main function here okay inside this main function right here a character type array so suppose this is digits and let's say the length of this is 15 okay so take the inputs from the user so now calculate the length of the inputs which user has given so for that write here in 10 and insert this string length digits so now write a function so suppose the name of the function is decodings and here first the array and here write digits and then the length in okay so now right here in decodings and insert this right character digits and then it is your end okay so now write in count so the length of the array is in plus one so this was our second step now we will initialize the first position and the second position of this count array as one okay so count of zero equals to one count of one equals to one so now our next step is we'll write a for loop from two to n okay so just write here a for loop so for int i equals to two i less than equals to n and then i plus plus and inside this for loop write count of i equals to zero okay we have initialized the count of i as zero now we'll check the condition so first condition was if digits of i minus one is greater than zero then we'll store the count of i minus one into count of i so right here if digits of i minus one is greater than zero so as this is a character so we have write it inside this single bracket okay so if digits of i minus one is greater than zero then count of then count of i equals to count of i minus one so count of i minus one will be stored into the count of i so next we'll check the next condition that is our next condition was if digits of i minus 2 is 1 or digits of i minus 2 is 2 and digits of i minus 1 is less than 7 then count of i and the count of i minus 2 will be added to count of i okay so write this condition here if digits of i minus 2 is equals to 1 or digits of i minus 2 is equals to 2 and there is a condition and there is another condition that is if digits of i minus 1 if digits of i minus 1 is less than 7 okay so this condition must be satisfied that is digits of i minus 2 is equals to 1 or digits of i minus 2 is 2 and digits of i minus 1 is less than 7 okay so these two conditions must be satisfied or this single condition might be satisfied if any of these conditions satisfied then we will write here count of i equals to count of i plus count of i minus 2 count of i minus 2 okay and after doing the whole of the operations we will raise to the end of the array of this count that is we will raise to count of n because it starts from 0 so count of 0 to count of n that is count of n plus 1 and final result will be stored into count of n so we will return this count of n here so outside of this for loop right here return count of n okay so this count of n will be returned from here and finally we will print it here see out and here include a header file c string so let's run this okay it's compiling 
so give some input here suppose one two and three and this is three so first we have saw that if the input is one to three the number of decodings will be three so now we'll give some other input like three to one so for three to one you can see here so for three to one the number of decodings will be two okay so let's give it here three to one so you can see here the output is two so this is perfect output so if you understand this and if you have any questions or queries regarding this then please comment below and don't forget to subscribe to this channel so thank you for watching this video see you in the next video till then take care